Today in this video, I'll be talking about um, how to calculate a triangular shape roof using MSL. A triangular shape roof using MSL. Before you proceed to calculate any triangular shape roof using MSL, first of all, you need to know the length from the fissure board to the main ridge. So let's say from the fissure board to the main ridge, we have like um, 5.0 meter like 5.0 meters so this 5.0 meter is the length of the the triangular shape roof so in order for you to know the number of five meters that can complete this triangular shape roof without any excess or shortage what you need to do is to take the measurement from one end of the fissure board from one end, let's say from point A to point B of the fissure board. Know the length from point A to point B of the fissure board. And that will help you to know the number that will help or that will be adequate for this triangular shape sketch. So by using 0.38 MSL in doing the calculation, let's say you when you took the measurement from point a of the fissure board to the point b of that same fissure board you had like six meters sorry six point zero meters so with this six point zero meters you would divide six point zero by the breadth or the width of the msl and the the, the, the width or the breadth of msl i am using is 0 0.38 so you then divide this 6 meter, which is the length of the fissure board, by 0.38 MSL. Please take note that MSL, the length or the width or the breadth of an MSL product varies from one company to the other. Um, some have this to be 0.36, some have this to be 0.4. But I'm using, in this video, I'm using that of 0.38 in doing the calculation. So you divide zero, um, 6 meter by 0.38 and it will be like 6 divided by 0 0.38 0 0.38 just like this and 6 divided by 0 0.38 will give you 15.78 15.78 so you will then run it you will then run this 15.78 making 16 because it is a triangular shape roof so all you need to do all you need to do in order not to have excess or more roofing sheets left you need to divide this 16 by 2 because it's a triangular shape any triangular shape measurement that you get you need to divide the said quantity by 2 because the reason why you have to divide this by 2 is that um, the length you see the length We'll go this way the length will go that way and look at the ridge from this side this side is a ridge from this side to to the other end is a ridge so you will be doing the cutting you see the first one will be okay you cut something small from it the next one you cut the next one you cut the next one you cut the next one you can see you'll be doing the cutting so instead of you not leaving the curtains to just to be waste please Divide the quantity you get from from um, when you took the measurement from A to B, uh, like the six meters example that I've given. Divide that quantity you get by two. So when you divide from um, sixteen by two, you get like eight. So meaning eight pieces of five meter will complete this triangular shape roof. This is how we calculate. A triangular shape roof please this is how we calculate a triangular shape roof thank you for watching this video